Hi, I am Dr. Shorya. I am rank 162 INICT, currently pursuing MD Psychiatry from Ames Delhi. So I want to share today the tool that I've used in my preparation, so much so that even today I'm using that tool and it's called flashcards. What exactly is flashcard? So basically it's a tool that gives you mini tests. So based on all the meta-analysis, systematic reviews, we know that testing yourself not just measures learning, it creates memory, it creates learning. What flashcard does is it integrates two methods. It, uh, it adds space repetition with active recall. So now we will understand what active recall is. So to understand active recall, let's start with passive recall. What passive recall is? So suppose if I tell you in treatment resistant schizophrenia, the drug of choice is close up in. This is a passive recall. I've given you information here, you've learned it. Now when I ask you, what is the drug of choice in treatment resistant schizophrenia? And I give you a time to think. That process of you thinking and trying to recall the information is active recall. So what you do? You force the memory ka ek trigger create karne ki, jisse aap wo jo memory trace hai, that becomes consolidated and that active recall process creates a memory in you and that is called active recall. So flashcard as a tool, it integrates this method with space repetition. Now we will understand what is space repetition. So suppose aapko main bolu, puri kitab aaj aapne padh li. can you recall this in two days? You can probably. Can you recall this in two weeks? You may not be. And can you recall it in two months? Most of you will not be able to recall as it is. So what space repetition does is it distributes those memory traces into your learning and forgetting curve. So when you forget, you can recall it So as you forget, it will remind you of that point. And then this space repetition with this active recall consolidates memory to a point that you have in the clinics, in the high stress situation. So you will forget. At that point, you will recall that memory and that is how flashcards work. So I'll give you one example of the practical use of flashcards. So one of my friends who got All India Rank 11 during his time, what he did was for last three days, he did not keep any question bank. He did not keep any notes for him. He only kept those 5,000, 8,000 flashcards with him that he was supposed to recall because those are the points that he usually forgets. So he wanted those key points to be remembered just before the exam. So in the last three days, he set those flashcards and revised all those uh, 5,000 to 8,000 flashcards in three days and on an, uh, in an automated mode so that he could revise all those key points and not forget it. And well, the result was out there and he got a good rank. So what flashcards does is it gives you ability to recall during the high stress situation when you actually need it without much effort because it's in your muscle memory now. So the problem I had during my flashcard journey was that I had to make them or all of us had to make them and then review them again and again and the process of making them was too difficult. The good thing today is that there are platform and this is the first time any platform has bought it in such a good manner is Cerebellum. They've bought these flashcards in a way that you don't have to make them. They are verified from the faculty themselves and they are in three formats. They are image based, they are fill in the blanks and they are their regular cards. So these cards, when you try them, you don't have to make them. The effort to make them reduces. So only what you have to do is whatever source you're reading, it does not matter. You just come here, revise them and consolidate these information in your memory. So the added features are, like I said, there are three types of cards available. There are different bookmarks available. The custom deck option gives you the ability that no matter wherever from you have studied, you can come back to the cards. You can select that particular topic. For example, if you studied psychiatry from, let's say, live lecture, you have studied from a notebook, you have studied from whatever source you have. You come back to the cards, you select that topic, do flashcards, find out your weak areas and then consistently revise them and eventually learn those parts. And you also have an option for detailed analytics. How analytics work is that give, give you feedback, what was the journey of the card, what particular information you were regularly forgetting, what was something that was easy to you. So when you have a feedback, you know what to revise and what not to revise and that helps your revision process becoming more efficient. So you don't have to waste time in reading something that you already know and not reading something that you don't know. So students, I would strongly urge you to use the flashcards. They have been rightly named as codons by the faculty here. I would urge you to use this process and of revision and the new era of revision so that you can rem uh, remember things which you tend to forget and not forget information that is very, very important for you. I would want you to go today and subscribe, at least try it for once and then make this a habit of revision. And also you can uh, also use the coupon code Dr. Shorya while subscribing for the flashcards. This will give you some discounts as well. All the best for exams.